Testing, testing, one, two, and a trois, okay, we're live. Hi, guys, and welcome back to VR Essentials, where we talk about the practical uses of virtual reality and everything about the metaverse. Now, today, very special video, as we're going to be talking about hand tracking with the, wait for it, wait for it, the HP Reverb G2 and the Ultra Leap. Oh, my God. Oh my God, it's absolutely amazing, really is amazing. You gotta see this to believe it. Basically, it's very easy today. I'm gonna guide you as to how to install this thing on your PC or you could use it on the laptop using your HP Reverb G2. Are you ready? All right, let's go. So for those who are not familiar with who Ultraleap is, they were created back in 2010 and they are Bristol based. Ultraleap was formed when Leap Motion and Ultra Haptics came together in 2019, who united the world's most advanced hand tracking with the only haptic technology that creates a sensation of touch in mid air, which is pretty amazing. Now they are compatible with most VR headsets today, including the Pico Neo 3 Link. And yes, do hit the notification bell after you subscribe as we will be doing, of course, some videos using the Pico Neo 3 link, which is this one here. And also, of course, they are also compatible with Pimax as well as HTC, the Lynx R1 and a whole bunch of other VR headsets. It's absolutely amazing. These guys have worked with pretty much everyone and anyone. And what I really, really love about the products is the fact that they don't just do stuff for VR. They also do stuff for retailers who Perhaps, you know, if you want people to be able to choose your menus and all these kind of things, but you don't want people to be able to actually touch your things, then you can just use, you can just swipe with your hand, which is pretty amazing. They've also worked with various different VR parks and also Lego and other manufacturers, including working with some airlines, training air crews using the HTC headset as well. So it really is amazing in terms of what they are capable to do. All right, so let's now go inside as to the how to install the Ultra Leap Leap Motion software on your computer to run with your HP Reverb G2. So very simply, the first thing you need to do is just go to the website in the link description below to developer.leapmotion.com slash tracking dash software dash download. And you'll see that there are different options there. First of all, there is the Windows version, which is 5.6.1. The latest version for Mac is 2.3.1, as is the same for Linux download as well. So all you have to do is just click on the download button, it will only take a few seconds. And when it's installed on your computer, basically what's gonna happen is, is that you'll be able to open the Ultra Leap tracking, which has this purple logo like this. And then you just basically open it up. But first, before you do that, all right, so once you've downloaded the Gemini PC software or the software on your PC, then you are pretty much ready to go. All you need to do now is place your actual tracker or the IR camera here on your headset. Now, this was provided to me by Ultraleap. Thank you very much, Ultraleap, who actually printed this, 3D printed this on here so that basically, you know, it could fit there. But of course you can use some double-sided tape as I did here with the Pico Neo 3 Pro, by the way. So if you don't have the 3D printed thing, just resort to double-sided tape. It would do just fine, of course, uh, or masking tape or whatever have you not. Now on the front here, I don't know whether you can see, but basically they are actually two cameras, one here and one here. So when you will get it for the first time, you will get these little black caps like so, so you won't actually be able to see it. So just remove the ca black caps so that basically you can see the cameras and the cameras can see outside, of course. And then just plug in, this will actually come inside of the package as well. This special USB here, which goes inside of here. Now, the actual fit in here, it doesn't fit any specific cable. It is a cable that is provided by Ultraleap, so you're gonna have to use this cable. However, it's not very long, it's only, you know, a meter and a half or so. So you will need a extension for it, a USB 3 extension. Now I do recommend that you get 
um, a USB 3.0 extension. For example, the Cable Creative, there is a link description below because I did test a couple of other cables which were 2.0, not 3.0 extensions, and they did not work with the Ultraleap device. So once you plug everything in, you will see a notification on your actual desktop to say that your Ultraleap device has been plugged in and then the software sometimes automatically starts and then sometimes doesn't. You may have to do it manually. So let me show you this right now. All right, so once we're inside of the computer and you've plugged in your Ultraleap uh, inside of your PC as well, and you're ready to go. So just switch on your VR headset before you launch the Ultraleap software. So just launch Windows Mixed Reality like so. This will come up uh, on its own, of course, or good or naturally. And if you see that you're not inside of Windows Mixed Reality Home, then all you have to do is just press the Windows Y key. It will ask you to look side to side or down on the floor. So just you know, press the Windows and Y key again, maybe a couple times. And eventually, normally, you should go redirect you automatically inside of the home without you having to actually look from side to side and then down. So, which is a real pain to do. I must admit, I wish Windows Mixed Reality could do something about that in the future. Leave a comment below. Let me know, guys, what you think when it comes to that kind of stuff when we power our VR headset on. All right, so next, all you have to then do is go to the Ultraleap software. Uh, I recommend that you put it on your taskbar so that it's here for you know ease of finding it. Or just go here, Ultraleap Tracking, and then boom, let's just open it up. You'll see Tracking Service Active. So all we then need to do is basically just bring up the control panel. So we right click on the actual little control panel there and we go to Open Control Panel. This is where you'll be able to see whether it's actually tracking something and whether it's working. If you do not see the outside of the cameras, first of all, you'll know that it is not working. It is that simple. So first of all, let's just take the camera. Let me not move it very fast so that you can actually see properly. So again, I don't have the headset on as you can see on the small camera, but it's already tracking my hands. So this is really really amazing i mean look at this guys it is crazy really crazy how it's i mean i'm moving my hand like whoa 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 really 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 fast and it's just really amazing how it can find my hand really i mean it is really really crazy guys and this is really all you have to do that's it. Now it's tracking your hand. There was nothing else to do whatsoever. There are a few other options. Let me just put the actual camera down very gently so I don't create any motion sickness or anything. So at the top, there are some options here. So you can go to uh, this here. So connected device, it will tell you what device is connected. Let's just close this. It will also tell you the camera, whether you want it inverted or whether you want it to be normal. Uh, camera with a question mark, just click on it. It will tell you device orientation. Uh, changing device orientation will rotate the incoming camera feed to improve tracking accuracy based on the camera's real world rotation. If you are having tracking issues, try inverting the orientation. So that's pretty handy there. Camera feed, uh, use the drop down to change the camera feed displayed in the visualizer. Selecting single will show the feed from the left camera on your device while selecting side by side will show both simultaneously. Ah, so at the moment, of course, we just want to see single, but we could change it to side by side and boom, this is basically what will happen. It now shows two cameras. So one will be my left hand here and then my right hand, which is, it knows where my right hand is. It's pretty amazing. Um, but here's my right hand. So basically it will be able to track it. There we go. So it's side by side. And let's just uh, put it to single. So there we go, boom. Now, I don't know, I'm gonna do a lot more testing with this and do hit the notification bell after you subscribe because of course, I don't know how the lighting is going to affect the cameras in terms of having, um, you know, having all these different lights, you know, 
having all these different lights around, like shining on me and all this kind of stuff, and low light and really hyper light, how it's gonna affect the performance of the cameras. You're just gonna have to wait and see for future videos about this. So do hit the notification bell after you subscribe, guys, as we'll be doing a lot, lot more testing in regards to this kind of stuff. Now, the other thing you can do is there are camera distortions. So boom, there you go, it shows you a distorted version of the actual camera. There's also tracking mode here. So the tracking service provides multiple tracking modes which optimize the active algorithm for the given use case. Desktop mode is suitable for cameras placed flat on a desk. Head mounted is suitable for cameras mounted to a VR headset. Screen top is suitable for cameras placed facing down from the top of a display. Other applications can change the tracking mode. When they do, an information pop-up will be shown. So basically, you can basically choose. And we are gonna choose head mounted, of course, because for us, it's on the VR headset. Auto switch to head mounted mode in VR. Yes, it is enabled. And you can also do another bunch of things here. So allow images, help improve tracking. So they can basically send the data back to them. I would imagine that's what it is. Let me just check. Help improve at ultra leap hand tracking by sending anonymized diagnostics application and usage data to UltraLeap. So personally, I'm going to just switch off for now. Uh, mirror visualization, no. OpenXR support, yes. And then let's just close that. All right, so then all the, the only other thing you need to do basically is very simple. So of course, you have the UltraLeap now. You want to be able to use it in specific games. Now there are a whole heap of there are a whole heap of demos that are available, guys. Let me just show you where they are. It's very easy to spot them. Very, very easy to spot them. And guys, I'm going to be doing more videos with a whole bunch of the other demos. So do hit the notification bell after you subscribe so that I can show you all these demos. Now on this page, basically, you will see if you scroll down, there's a whole heap of different things here. VR headsets, desktop, Excel downloads, Boom, 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 whole heap of things. And you'll see here, there's a button where it says demos. All you have to do is click on it. <clears throat> It'll open up a different page and boom, you will see all the various different things here. Now, of course, we are interested in VR demos. So we click on VR and then we click search and it will bring up all the various different demos that are all here. And guys, they are absolutely, absolutely amazing. It's just, Frigging, I mean, there's quite a few here. I'm gonna be trying them all out one by one. So do hit the notification bell after you subscribe because of course I will provide you all the data and all the good fun stuff as to what they are like. So guys, that's how you basically install the Ultra Leap system on your desktop. It's really that easy. You just download the Gemini software and you're done. That's it. There's nothing else to do. How more easy is this? And guys, if you're developers, oh man, please reach out to me so I can put you in touch with the Ultra Leap team because it's absolutely phenomenal. Even if you're not a VR developer, you're a normal game developer, this is gonna be huge in terms of mobile gaming even for the future because if mobile phones can install this various different SDK and all this stuff on it as well, then just imagine the future of mobile gaming. You will no longer have to tap on things. You just have your screen and boom, 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 just like Harry Potter, guys. Absolutely amazing. All right, guys, let's read some comments from the previous video because, oh man, you are super, 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 super awesome. What can I tell you? Let's go back to the VR Essentials uh, YouTube channel. Let me just pause this very quickly and let's get, let's go to your channel. So it's the VR Essentials YouTube channel. Let's go to videos. And we spoke about F1 2022 and why I got a refund for this game, because I did request a refund for this game. So guys, let's just read some of your comments because absolutely phenomenal, phenomenal, sorry, as to the amount of comments you guys have left. Uh, and hello to everybody. Watu UK says, works just fine for me, NVR R7 5800X and RTX 380. 
Uh, switching doubly to sharpening fix, the blurriness for me looks sharp inside my index. Thank you very much for your comment. Really appreciate that. Uh, Dennis Laventure, let me just bring it down one more, says, had the same issues and multiple crashes in VR with the G2 and a 390. Got a full refund too. Sorry to hear that, Dennis. Matt is a knob, says, hey, thanks for the little shout out. Very welcome, mate. So funny, I did a bunch of research on upgrading my headset, which included a lot of your videos. Thank you very much, Matt. Really, really appreciate that and a shout out to you again I guess uh, Craig one says uh, 390 here use motion reprojection if it's jittery I put it to ultra and pictured I locked motion smoothing many in DCS do this as well and all is well too bad it's enjoyable well good on you and yes I did put motion reprojection in the video and as you noticed it was okay when I had done that and of course there are other videos on the YouTube channel so go and check those out as to how you can switch on motion reprojection Arnesh says, I put everything down to medium or low in game and left super sampling at 100. Runs smooth for me and isn't too blurry. I have a 380 Ti. Well, it's a pretty good graphics card. Thank you very much, Arnesh. Last comment. And guys, please do go and head to that video to read all the other comments there. Emily Tirod says, had the same issues and multiple crashes. My PC freeze and lag in VR with a G2 and a 380 with a 12700K 30G RAM. Got a full refund too. I run MSF, no problem. Oh, Paradise Decay is here. No issues for me on my RTX 2070 and Rift S. No blur or anything. Hmm. Hmm. Are you sure there, Paradise Decay? Have you done a video? Can I go and see the proof in the pudding? Hmm, are you sure? What is your CPU? I'd love to know. Please leave a follow-up comment there. That would be really, really awesome, mate. Re really would be good. Executive 3 says, thanks for the shout out, my friend. Road to 11.5K, heck yeah. Thank you very much, Executive 3. Really a good pleasure to have you on the channel. And guys, if you, if you, and guys, sorry, if you want to know more about Lulz Mobile and all that kind of stuff, do head and check out her channel. All right, guys, thank you very much for subscribing and for all your comments. You are amazing. You're just amazing. You are freaking amazing. It's thanks to you that this channel keeps growing. And guys, we will be announcing the winners to the giveaway of the HP Reverb G2 very soon and also the Cyber Shoes and the 50 US dollars voucher to any game that you want to purchase on the Oculus Metal Quest store. Pico, the Pico Link store, Vive Port store or the Steam VR store. I'm just going to write to Cyber Shoes and make sure that they're all good to go and then I will do the giveaway very soon announcement. All right, guys, take it easy and I'll see you in another video very soon. Bye for now.